Okay, so welcome. We are in the next game or next matchup. Navi against DK, Ukraine in part, one part of Estonia against uh, DK, which is Chinese team. So definitely very interesting because Navi, let's actually go. And Navi is a team that can, I think, work great against Chinese. Because I think they have experience and they have knowledge and kind of the ballsy play to actually pull off something in Chinese. Like Chinese are very careful, very patient. They don't throw any kills for you, okay, any deaths to actually get your kills. They are basically, if they have carry, they are waiting. They are waiting enough time to actually get them items and then they roll over you. If they don't have, they play like a maybe ganging style. Like they do anything, they do everything, okay. Like we saw baiting anti-mage <laughs> with the Battle Fury, baiting uh, three guys from the other team and then the whole team ported and destroyed the team. So very quickly let's go through the bans and the picks. Because my game actually already crashed so I was actually explaining it for actually at least 10 minutes like what is this and how this works. Unfortunately my game crashed so I'm not gonna do it anymore. Let's just go for the, let's just rush it, rush it through the bans. Invoker, Rubik, Darkseer, Morphling and Lone Druid. Uh, Invoker, I think if you're watching my games, or what I'm casting, or what I'm actually posting up, then Invoker is the Chinese hero, I think. Hidden Chinese hero, everybody think it's a Morphling, everybody think it's whatever, but I think Invoker is the one. Rubik also can be the one, because he's running a lot of as a supportive guy, and some Chinese people are working great with the Rubik and Invoker combo. I think Invoker was the strongest hero for at least Chinese teams in this tournament, at least. So that is it. Of course, Morphling, uh, because Navi picked anti mate, so Morphling was kind of opposite to that. Like, it might be kind of hard to play against Morphling if he's, you know, in a farm, if our anti mage is in trouble. So Morphling pretty much owns him if anti mage is not getting that much farm. Uh, Pudge, ban from DK. Definitely respect ban, I think. Um, I respect and definitely knowledgeable ban, because Navi in land tournaments. They don't fear to play Pudge, and I like them for it. I, I, I like him, like, it's still ballsy. Because, you know, the hook is, you get dandy, which is very good with the Pudge, obviously, but the hook is still not something certain. It's not like stun that you click and it flies, okay? It's, it flies, but it can actually miss. So, Pudge, definitely nice ban. I think Navi would maybe pick the Pudge. It can make a situation like 5 against 4 immediately, like hook, and he eats you. He gets even HPs, he gets more HPs from that, like, strange. So yeah, it's pretty insane. Mega Siren Lycan, pretty much certain certain picks. We got Puck and Nature's Prophet as the last ban. Nobody wants to pick Nature's Prophet. Why would they? So let's go with the DK picks. We got Chen, Venomancer, Tinker, Vent Runner, and Luna was the last one. Um, I was actually previously talking about in a video that actually crashed. I was talking about that that they need. It was like a fourth pick, and you know we were awaiting the fifth one. I was like, they need something, but like something to compete against Anti Mage as a carry, as a farming beast. Um, they picked Luna. There were not many choices that could be void. You know, clinks could work somehow. But Luna is definitely interesting. Um, she will need to be protected in the beginning. I'm not sure it's gonna be mid, because Akasha definitely owns Luna mid. Without Shadow Strike, I think it would be really not even battle. So we'll see how they will lay in this. Okay. Tinker mid against Enzo King of Pain. Luna will be supported by Chen in the jungle and Venomancer. I was actually talking about the Chen, not really sure. I'm not really sure how Chen will lane this. Like, he'll be in the jungle, obviously, but uh, will he be the Chen that is farming to get quick mech and the ulti and the level 7 for the level 4 of, you know, so he can send his allies much more quicker or may get, uh, like, free creeps? I'm not really sure if that's the Chen. Or is the Chen, like, being. Pr or he's gonna be pressuring the other team just by pushing very early on, like, level 2 or 3. I'm not really sure. I think it's gonna be much more the farming chain, and then if there's like a trouble for Luna, he will come. We got Leshrac, Tidehunter, Anti Mage, and Queen of Pain for Navi. We are awaiting the last pick, so let's just go with that. You know, Leshrac, Tidehunter, and Anti Mage, those were like the first few picks. Uh, nothing special there, it's, it's pretty much obvious what they wanna do. Uh, Leshrac is Poppy's hero, I think, in this tournament at least. Um, he runs him pretty nicely, he's roaming a lot, he's hitting these stunts, you know, from the like two games that I watched. Definitely Puppy knows how to play Leshrac and works kind of well with the Navi lineups all the time. So right now we have a uh, Brute Mother, Queen of Pain, Hvost on the Anti-Mage, Puppy will be actually on the Tidehunter and Arzard will be on a Leshrac and Light of Heaven of course will be on a Brute Mother as a solo. So we got our mid, we got our Anti-Mage 
and this could be supporting anti mage if there's a trial and against him, if there's a Venomancer. So Tide Hunter can be there, Arzak maybe can be much more roaming because of the you know long range stun. Or both of them could be roaming if anti mage is safe. We got long DD on Chen, Zipper will be Venomancer. I you know these names could be fake or just variations of other names, so R O T K I'm gonna cast I'm gonna say it like that. Will be Windrunner. And Luna will be played as a burning. So the farming Chinese I don't think he's that good, by the way, in this tournament, but uh, maybe his time will come. Maybe his time will come. We got pause, of course. Because <laughs> it's Navi tactical pause. Because Chinese already had a plan, now it's disrupted. A super will be playing Tinker. Mine too. Mine too. And a smile is Arzard, as you can see. He disconnected. Arzard. Art style, Arzard. Jesus. So of course, Light of Heaven will be the the solo. Um, I'm very curious if Windrun will be against against Brute Mother or if they will pull Windrunner against Trilane, which is pretty normal. So we shall see. And everybody's connecting. So let me actually get this. And Poppy even disconnected. Look at that. So some people crashing. As I said, Dota is crashing a lot of times. Unfortunately, even for me. <laughs> oh, we got Antimage with the wards. Uh, right now the words, the perps is that he's got the blink, so he can get there much more faster, so he could be technically, or they know, that he could be safe from the engagement if they are just coming like on the bottom, without the smoke of course, because smoke gives them like a little bit of movement speed, that could be bad. He's gonna use a blink yet again, plant very quick words, probably for the Windrunner and then go, sorry for the, of course Windrunner, uh, the Brute Mother and then go top. When there's already supportive guys, Poppy and AA. So Dandy will be against Tinker on the mid. Um, you know, Dandy should have advantage. She, she should have pretty easy time to actually farming. Because these days, these guys are actually running on the March of Machine on level 4. Which means it's fine, it's really good against anti push. It basically fits the meta game of, you know, today. But the problem is you are not that effective on a lane. You are gonna lose a lot of mana in the beginning, plus this is great combo, okay, this is still very good like as max levels. So he's not gonna be controlling in the beginning that made that well. So Puppy's scouting all the time, all the time these guys. He sees them with his anchor and fish. Does he have the fish or something? Oh he's got the squid. Every oh it's not it's not it's, it's normal fish. Jesus, it's not a squid. Everybody's running with a the squid these days. So Lunar Blessing, look at that, plus 14 damage as an aura for everybody, so that's pretty huge, that's pretty huge, like, in an engagement in the beginning. So there are two wards, one for the camp and one for the mid. This is pretty decent ward because uh, teams are usually, not usually, but teams tend to devour this spot. So they don't really know that this ward might be actually in, in a place sometimes, so... Like, they put, like, ward here and it's... Oh, there's nothing there. Oh, there's engagement, look at that. Anti mage is in, so this could be if he blocks somebody. Luna is actually blocked. This is a worse decision for them. Luna is trying to get away, burning. So long DD is sending him home. Uh, Poppy's still getting actually destroyed. I think they yeah, have Poppy down. Uh, for the Venomancer. And he died, by the way. I'm not really sure who it was. Oh, Chen. Nice block from a Hwast, and now they are ripping through the Zippo. He's got blink in like 6 seconds. That should be enough. Even the auto attack should be enough from uh, AA. So, pretty good actions. Uh, Hwast being in 2 kills. Look at that. He's gonna get level 3 right now. Luna unfortunately sent back, so she had to waste like a lot of money to actually buy a port. It's fine. But then again, these guys having advantage, look at a 2-2, two, two, plus the mana burn already there with the blink. It's gonna be very hard. So Arzard is coming there with the Edict, nice one. So this, this is gonna be kill the burn, burning. There's no way he's gonna survive this. There's a support incoming of a Chen, but that's just not getting on, not good enough. Not quick enough. So just from the beginning, pretty decent for Navi. So Chen is in a place from the bottom, he's actually molesting them. Poppy and Arzard are trying to get the farm from him. So Chen will be running on the, on the top, which always puts Chen really behind all levels. And these guys can kind of control the jungle because they have Poppy and Arzard, so... It's gonna be hard for Chen, let me tell you that. Creep can be annoying with the shockwave, it does actually pretty decent damage, as we will see. Stop it. On a Poppy at least. But then again, um, we shall see, but the Chen will be behind on farm. That's the thing, I'm not really, I don't really like to see that, because Chen is good with the farm. If you lost it from a burning, very nice ones. He's actually getting all at once, nice one. 
So let's go with the last hit, Denies Stats. You got 10 on the Winch Runner and 5 on the Brute Mother. Let's see the consumables. Everybody's eating something. Uh, Brute Mother is pretty much annoying them, annoying the Winch Runner with the spiders. That's a nice tactique. Slight of Heaven will get advantage on this lane when he's got the Soul Ring. There's gonna be too many spiders. He had to avoid this because one more hit and he would get actually the kill. Because the spawn spider links nuke. Was level 4 almost? That's actually a lot. That is a lot. He's gonna be, I think, over aggressive with the mana break, which I would like to see. Right now he's running 1 1 1, but I think he will take the mana break. See the Chen? He's passively playing without any creeps, not doing anything at the moment. Like, he cannot do anything at the moment. Like, not even. I don't know. I just don't like this. But they have to kind of, you know, they <laughs> they burned them already that they that they did this or the pick with, with the Luna and the Venomancer. Let's see the mid statistics. We got nine on the Dandy and five for Tinker. So then he's definitely doing better job, as you can see. He's doing the border crowing or whatever this is. Actually, bo action on the bottom. Look at that. Venomancer going down. Was still going. He's got level 4, so he didn't pick anything, or... I'm not actually sure if he picks stats. I mean, he had to. He had to pick stats. So, Quas running on stats? That's interesting. Um, I think this lane is pretty easy for them, just because the chain is not effective at all. So, right now he's shifting to the... Like, deeper jungle. But Poppy maybe knows about this, with the Arzar, so... Let's see. <laughs> He's just waiting for a rune, so Chen will get something from the jungle. He definitely needs to. He definitely needs some get to get some creeps. He's got the centaur, so that's gonna be at least something. Got a bunch of machines. Level two and two lasers, that's um That's interesting. Oh! Azard! He didn't even see him, there was like no vision in the in the like top. Jesus Christ. And Arzard is going to down, so this was not really Nicely played. That's gonna be lasted for Arzard. Too yes, it is. And then he's gonna port and finish this guy off in the four seconds. Now Poppy's even hunting him. Chen is actually sending him hold, so this is not gonna be the end. Nice turn from Centaur. Wow. <laughs> That's nice. Nice. If Dandy had this level three, the guy'd be dead, pretty much. But you know, why not gamble a little bit? Psst, it's a game of gamble. I definitely like the actions from the beginning. Look at Puppy how tanky he is, and there's a Sendor to come in the battle. Nice Gale. Puppy will be down. There's no Kraken shell to cast this off. So Luna could be even finishing this off his last hit. She will definitely need that. Venomancer yet again getting second kill. Well, you know. I think Burning would like to get something. Like farm wise, he's got nine. Twenty-six on a bamboo. Dex and bamboo. I think I did. Editing, editing skills of mine. Oh, there's action of the Venomancer, there was a gush, and there's a kill off. anti page getting it, no Lishra getting it, go for it. <laughs> Support these days are getting these skills, why not, I don't you know. At least they can buy some wards, man. As you can see, he's got the Soul Ring, so Light of Heaven, this time. Bamboo left the game and Light of Heaven joined, I think. Um, <laughs> I'm never wrong, so yes, that's what happened. He's pushing the tower, pressuring the Wind Runner. She's getting some levels, but as you can see, he's almost... No, he's one level above and Windrunner, but that will be even more in the future. She can get some XP, she can get some money from the spider links, but on level 4, as you can see, the spider links will be stronger, there will be more of them, and ultimately it will be just huge, huge nuke. Oh, wait a minute, Putting boards, deboarding, and blocking the camp for Tinker, so he... It's blocked. They just put... Okay, those are the observers. I was thinking that somebody put actually sentry there. So they are blocking the camp, Navi blocking the camp against the Tinker being able to actually stack this and then farm it for a quick uh, boots. By the way, Luna died on the top. Luna is not really the pick that works, and I think that's because of the Chen. So Navi were okay with this, like, we're gonna pick... I think they pretty much knew what the other team is gonna do. Like, they let them Chen, but you know, they were like, okay, we're gonna get strong Twilane. So, and they banned Morphling later on, so there's like no survivability of the guy on the top. So it has to be like Void, Luna, or something like that. Oh, he's, he's actually pulling. Tide is, that's a nice technique, I like it from Poppy. 
He's making this seem like there's no word. He just blocked it by himself. So the creeps are not really leaving this. So they don't know about the word yet. They don't know about the word. They think it was blocked because of the puppy illusion. Nice the wording. I think the word was actually disappearing already, but that's fine. So it was getting pretty decent farm. Let's see if it's gonna be fast battle fury. Probably it will be. And fast talking about like 30 minutes in. And there's a dandy initiating, but there's a match of machines, so they shouldn't be maybe pushing it that much. Let's see, level 7, we got level 6. So power shot is not yet max. Look at it, look at it, wow. 8 seconds for the next nuke, man. He doesn't have yet the slow, so... That's unfortunate, because we, he could actually force the Vintuar much more sooner. But of course, this is the build that is kind of usual. We got power shot finished, so more damage. <laughs> and more HPs, if he needs to. Forty-five, forty-two. Only wind runner is like kind of a holding the farm above like or around forty mark, which is kind of a sad, but that's fine. Burning level three, host level seven. It kind of shows you, and a host went not really that aggressive. He's trying to secure himself with the blink with the lower cooldown, so that's fine. Oh, there's some initiation on the bottom. Look at that. Light of heaven is actually destroying the wind runner at the moment. There's even Danny, so Danny will be finishing this off very easily. He's got the Invis rune. Blink in 3 seconds. But I think Light of Heaven could be even oh, missed from Dandy. Uh. That's a sad story for a Queen of Pain. To waste the ulti like that. I think Light of Heaven could actually solo that. He's got the move speed through the webs, so... I'm not saying Dandy was not needed. But okay, I'm gonna say. Dandy was not needed in this situation. <laughs> so long DD, level 4. Level 5 would be better, because 2 creeps definitely matter, or mean something much more. Was on level 8 almost, Arzak level 6, so he's doing even as a support, as like almost like a roaming support. Half of the game at least. He's doing a great job. We got Puppy as a roamer, so Radiant's Puppy roams. He's gonna put maybe ward like aggressive one right here. We'll Radiant see what he's gonna do with that. They actually have aggressive ward already, man. I didn't even notice. And the other team has ward on the, on the right there. So wards everywhere, man. Wards everywhere. So long with he trying to farm something, he's kind of deciding if he wants to go mid or if he wants to go farm. And there's a rewarding from Poppy. From their movement he kind of understood. And uh, there's a laser, so it will actually block his attack. He oh! Denied! Nice. At least he dies that. And now he's gonna go. He bought the boots, so he's not gonna lose any 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 money. There's no money to lose, by the way. <laughs> but yeah, that's the case. Nice Gale, so he's gonna be stopping his movement. No Lunson Beam to actually stop his casting animation, but it's kind of hard to do that. And there's a port, look at that. Arzak is destroying the Venomans. Venomans is alone, unfortunately, so this is... The juking doesn't work when there's an Edict, unfortunately. Unfortunately for him. Good for Navi. So Tower is pushed on the bottom. That's what's gonna happen if... And they cannot commit anybody, like, who they can commit. Luna needs to farm, so she needs to support. Shen, I think, needs to farm, like, he needs that ulti. And he needs that mech. It's already too late for that, but you know, he definitely needs that at the moment, so... It's just... It looks like game of for Navi, like just by the drafting and positioning their lanes. And DK kind of is just struggling on her single lane. Like, Mid is just being molested by Queen of Pain. You know, she can take every single rune from Tinker, so... I don't think Tinker even bothered to do... Like, was... Like, bothered to actually go see these runes. He was just bother crowing that. And there's a Tinker, so he can march with Machine. It's definitely gonna help against the push, but uh, Light of Heaven is gonna pull these spiders off, so it's gonna be only on creeps. We see 2 2 4, so he ignored the rearm at the moment. Um, I think it was because he was kind of a. seeing that Navi controlled his ancients, so maybe he doesn't want the rearm. That works perfectly with the ancients, by the way, and Soul Ring, of course. So he, okay, he was like, okay, let me get the boots of travel very quickly, just on these lanes, just farming very, very safely, let's say. And not really bothered about the ancients, which are, by the way, worded. I, they didn't know about this, by the way. I don't think they knew about this. I think the word, this one, was already after this one, so... I think there's just Ty standing there all the time, you know, Poppy was just... <laughs> just there. Unfortunately, he was like a standing word, cancelling all this. For them, at least, like, from their view. There's a lot of spiders from the light of heaven. He can farm the jungle on the right there. It's gonna be stunned, but that's fine. And then he can far be farming the, the 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 lane. Okay, Tinker has the boots of travel. They're already 
Oh, Glove of Haste. Oh, no, Glove of Haste, no. <laughs> That's always kind of making jokes about complexity doing that. Like, they were waiting for freaking Void Stone. Like, at least like 20 seconds or something like that. And there was a Battle Fury in the, in the stash. I was like, come on, like, just take the Battle Fury. Fuck the Void Stone, man. It doesn't work, it doesn't do anything. So, Vince, we're not getting some farm. She's definitely keeping up with them, but unfortunately, she's the only one. And you know, Windfarm will do nothing, nothing against these heroes, these type of heroes, like like Light of Heaven is. Like Dandy is behind them. He's got the ulti ready. He's got the career, Dandy. Two hits, three hits, and that's a career. Four hits even, look at that. That frog is definitely not that vulnerable as I as I as I thought she is. Or he is, I don't know. One of those. Light of Heaven? <laughs> nice one, definitely. Successful. No ulti from Luna, so that's gonna be blink of Dandy pretty much safely. On the bottom there. He used even magic sticks, so let's see if Luna cannot catch actually. She's got pretty decent movement speed, but unfortunately that's the thing about Luna. If she had the ulti, that's it for Dandy, but it's not. It's not. Look at the light of heaven, there's a Tinker coming, so he's gonna get the March of Pachin off. I think he's going to be uh, getting slow ring at the moment, as you can see there's already Sage Mask. A few more creeps and it's going to be it. There's a push on the mid, long DD, finally 6, he's got the headdress, so right now only the buckler and then the mech. It still will be in a decent time, you know, it will be... He doesn't have arcane boots, which is unfortunate, because this guy really needs to pull off everything, he definitely needs those arcane boots, so we'll see about that. So Tinker at the moment, he's got the soul ring, as you can see, so this is a much more easier game for him. And right now starts the Tinker play, which is rearm port somewhere, you know, board link in the base, port somewhere, go for these combos and then port back. So I'm not gonna be following Tinker that much because it's pretty much certain what he's gonna do and, you know, pretty like a routine. And he cancelled the port on the bottom because Light of Heaven has like 20 spiders there. And that would be actually a kill with the ulti. If he's got the web, he's that speedy, so... Yet Tinker doesn't have any escaping ability, like a force death or dagger, so he can immediately go back, go for some March of Machines, and then then he'll be pretty much secured, even against Light of Heaven, because the March of Machine is that strong. And of God on the top, probably. No. Maybe against Dandy, but he has full HP, so I'm not really sure. Maybe it's for creeps. It's possible it was just for creeps. Dandy's still in the action. He can actually solo this guy. Shadow Strike at Tinker's porting, so Dandy cannot do anything. Nice one. I like this gameplay, actually. <laughs> Look at the spiders of light of heaven, Jesus. And it's gonna be more, it's gonna be more. Insane push, he's going for the silencer. That's very useful. Against Stinker, against Luna, against anybody on their team. Like Chen, anybody. They are pretty much <laughs> relying on spells on their use. All of them, like in the same time, like they need to pull these actions off. Spell actions, and DK burning is that I think creep actually allows it that. I think the range creep allows it that yet again he did it. He succeeded. <laughs> I would like to see the threat like the creeps are bullshitting the real players like yeah we got the guys nice shackle it's actually level four and Poppy is there to actually get the Navi hostess getting the damage nice splash on the wind runner and the Venomancer port back and Dandy is here so Dandy will be finishing them very quickly. He cannot even port back look at the mana he doesn't have anything so Dandy will be even finishing the super and it's double kill for Dandy it's a triple kill for them. Who died last? Chen? It's possible that he was left there? I don't know. Plus they got all the creeps, so... It looks really good for Navi, but I think it's best just, just because of the pick. Not just because of the pick, but the laning was pretty bad. <laughs> like the burning right now. That's a sad story for burning. Let's say that. And the bottom tower will go down. There's a fortification. Tinker cannot really port, because look at that. Look at the spiders. They're like 20 spiders. FP is going down. He's got the tower. It will be insane pressure. Like, right now, Navi won the game, okay? Pretty much, pretty much. That's a nice farm, from time to time, but... Uh, he got even... Oh, gem? I think it's on a Venomancer. If it's on a Venomancer. We see a lot of, like, early gems in these matches. I definitely like that. So, Daddy will be getting this guy... Off the base, with the Shadow Strike. Off the base? Well, I said base, but I meant, you know, well. 
That's interesting that some people are not double tapping that, um, the port. Some people are just tapping that and quickly like selecting and porting on that place. Oh no, like on the minimap, selecting and porting there. The double tap I think works perfectly. I mean it's like old school Dota probably. Like from Dota 1, you know, people. They don't they don't know these tricks yet. They don't know these tricks yet. It was like, you know, early in the beginnings it was like, um, uh, they were getting these items off their inventory down to the ground. They actually still they actually, like, um, you know, get them together by, with, with the courier and then basically get into the hero. It's kind of funny. It took like five seconds. <laughs> yep. That's little things, man. Oh, look at the spiders. Nice. Spiders again, chance creeps. Amazing. Nice one. He got three. Three, like, five or four gold. There's still more spiders to kill. Go, Windrunner, go. He's got the silence. He can finish Shen right now. There's two disables, so that could be pretty bad, but... <laughs> okay. Yeah, focus, focus the useless one. It's gonna make a spiders, though. At least one. He's gonna finish it with the spiderlings. And there's his whole team on his ass with the dandy. He's gonna make... He's gonna make Bloodstone. Okay. And there's a greed for some reason. Getting something. Oh, actually nothing. I don't think the Gory gets a, get a, get a, get anything there. Of course, who was this farming? That's what he does. As I said, like, you know, that's what's gonna happen. There was some actions on the top, but that was forced because of both teams were kind of trying to do something. But other than that, yes, this guy will be kind of farming. So Super's building four stuff. That's definitely a good choice here. He definitely needs some escaping ability if he wants to port in these lanes and not be that, you know, scared. Was is hunting him, but there's a wind run to get the beautiful shackle. And she's not. Back to farm, back to farm. Don't do anything. And Burning King coming, look at that. We got three items that matter. Um, these are just, you know, these are fake items basically. Just to, just, just to fill the inventory so it seems like you, you have some farm. Oh, there's a push on the bottom. So Arzard pushing, taking a lot of damage. It could be for a few March machines, and that should be stopping the push. So 200 damage will be done to the tower or something like that. Actually, 400. It's pretty nice. I think it should be right now. He's in a position, so he should be defending this. Probably porting top, so there's some action. End of God. Dandy will be focusing on non burning. He's dead. Not even casting. He's actually casted out. Tinker's in coming. So right now, there's going to be a few March machines. Rockets, laser, march of machine. In the action. They actually want to finish Dandy Boys by attacking. There's a march of machine on the tide. And Hwost actually getting into it, but he had a lot of mana, so that did zero damage. Nice one. That could be actually kill on the Hwost. He's farting away. Power shot missing, unfortunately. So sacrificing Burning and Chen for the two or three guys from Navi. That's pretty good, but the Fallen Tower on the bottom. And Triple Port. <laughs> from DK. He's coming. Hmm. Now you got the tower. That's what they need. And Light of Heaven will be staying here. And he's got BKB, I think. Almost BKB, okay. He's gonna farm the BKB in like two minutes. Arzard getting Bloodstone? Or Aghanim? Probably Aghanim. He doesn't need, okay, any BKBs. <laughs> Not here. Not here. There's gonna be mech, but you know, it's it's fine. It's still fine. This is not the problem. Chen like got his farm that he needs. He would like to get some arcane boots maybe, but the problem is the burning. Like he's gonna get drum for endurance and I think out is fine, but it would be fine much more level eleven. Then I could say like it will be useful. But level six ulti right now is just kind of a joke. Oh, Tinker against Hwast. Let's see. He doesn't he doesn't have to force that because he can actually actually do anything. There's no mana to do anything. There's no cooldown to do anything. Unfortunately, Force that worked kind of poorly with the anti mage because the blink is actually longer than the, than the Force Step, unfortunately, for the Tinker. And he couldn't even port away any time because the ulti was still there, so he could actually disrupt it with the ulti. There's a Ministan with the anti mage ulti, so. It was like no way out. That's maybe why the dagger sometimes is better. Oh no! Oh, he survived. 32 HP is nice. That's maybe why the dagger is sometimes better on a tinker than for staff. And there's a quick Roshan. There's Arzard gonna get the Edict off. And there we go. Dandy coming. I think it's gonna be Hwost. And then maybe he's gonna join some actions. He wants to finish the man style. Then they can pretty much push these two towers. Or I think they can push even the, the bottom if they want to. Hwost is gonna take it. 
I saw the movement closer to the Roshan. Clicking like this. Oh. You need to do it, man, or somebody else will take it. Jesus. You cannot. You cannot let anybody take your Roshan. Feeder. No, kidding. He's just not getting much. He's just not getting much. 63 creeps. That's pretty poor. Um, I'm kind of surprised that they lane this that ridiculously. Um, like, they must not even switch. Like, I think they could switch t to the bottom and let the wind trying to go top. We saw that, like, from a Zenith. I, I definitely agree with that. They, like, try to switch the Trilane against Trilane because that's what their plan. I don't think Luna's plan was to farm against Trilane, as, as Luna, you know, against, like, very aggressive and effective Trilane. Because there's a blink, so he can be instantly there even when he's farming. There's a Tide Slow, there's a Lash Rock Stun, and Tide Slow would work kind of great with Lash Rock Stun because Lash Rock Stun is very hard to aim and land. And the Slow definitely works great with that. So, yeah, I think, you know, not really want to say like what they should do, but it seems that the Windrunner, if she was going top, if the guys from the tri lane go to the bottom against Bamboo, get some sentries. It could be the opposite, like the navy would switch that, but it would still take the time, it would be at least something, like burning doesn't have anything, you know, doing something is better than doing and doing nothing, like they did on the top basically. But that's fine, we are going, we are going. Now we're still pressuring all the towers, there's a thing reporting on the top, wanting to defend this, and now Dandy can actually jump him if he stays there, and he does not. Quas just passing by the Tinker, oh this is not good for a Tinker, Quas sees him completely, he doesn't have any mana right now. Yep, that's what happens. I was like, he's gonna port away. No, he actually went back. I think it was a bad decision because even Dandy could actually solo him there. He didn't have enough mana to do any to pull anything off. Plus, he was soloing like two times, which means he had like a f two thirds of HP left. We got to make on lone DD. Like, yeah, Dandy could jump him. Like anybody could actually jump him. And there's little Dandy going in, Alti there, missing everybody. Which is surprising because there are four heroes. <laughs> nice shackle? No, no shackle for Arizard. Poppy still has ulti, but they don't have any mech and any healing instantly. But uh, Light of Heaven is running with the BKB, so he can actually go in and pretty much wipe anybody with the Dandy on his, on his back supporting him. But Dandy unfortunately missed the ulti. It would be push and end of the game if Dandy wouldn't miss the ulti. But Dandy's got the regen, so. That's gonna definitely help them to go back into the action and pressure them much more. Quost again, targeting to Tinker. Tinker understands that he cannot go back. He does not. He does not understand that. <laughs> now he does. What is gonna happen? Dandy focusing on him. There we actually sees him. Alti from the Yep, there's Alti. Cooldown was there. I'm not really sure why Stinker not really porting away like immediately. <laughs> One march of machines and I'm gone. You will never see me again. Okay? That would be my plan. So Quas is in, he's got still the Aegis so he can be Jerry. Poppy unfortunately being shackled so he cannot pull anything. They aren't focusing him with the damage, that's a smart choice. But there's Ravage, okay. Burning not really pulling out the ulti, now he's gonna go. He has to, he's forced. It's going off pretty nicely, but it's level 6. He's level 6 ulti, we just, as you can see, nothing. Not, no, no, not many charges. Quas in the action, he can actually solo with like 100 HP the guy, if he wants to. So let's see, Dendi will be putting finishing touches onto Luna. And that's going to be it. That's a GG from DK first game done by Navi. I don't think this means anything yet um, for DK because you know, the drafting and the the lanes were just terrible in, from the beginning. <laughs> so and Dandy's pretty good with the Queen of Pain, I have to say. He was kind of complaining about I think Dreamhack that the Puppy, you know, they trained Queen of Pain all the time, like in the. Uh, boot camping like puppies picks him the Queen of Pain all the time, but in the tournament he never does that. But here it seems he will be. So secret power of Dandy is the Queen of Pain. So thank you for watching. There's gonna be number game number two in common. Okay.